this world will never be. What is up, YouTube? This is Mikey B from Team Billboys 12 coming at you with the first place winning deck for the All About Games tournament in Belfast. Um, it was a Noble Knight deck. Um, it did very well in the tournament and it went undefeated. Um, I won second place with Heraldic and this was my only loss. And he just like, he just power overed me. Um, first game, he just got the whole the Madraw, he just got Madraws and Lancelins and Excalibur is just so broken. It's just like 4,000 beaters. It's, it's OT, OTK'd me like really bad and I didn't draw what I needed. Uh, second game, I, um, shock locked him, got shock master out with three, with three to four back rows, so, and then third game, I just didn't draw anything, but, um, the deck is, he runs three Madraw, this card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field, while equipped with the noble arms equipped spell cards, this card becomes an effect monster with these effects, this card becomes dark, and its level is increased by one, once per turn, you can, if you control no other monsters, you can special summon one noble knight, monster from your deck in face up defense position. Except Noble Line draw and if you do destroy the equipped spell card. So it's it goes into your like into your place you can go like level grab an instant level four and just really janky stuff. I don't know why he didn't run Shockmaster because it's just broken because you go Madraw, use the equip spell, Octurgeras, and then special something Gwain. Uh, I don't know why he didn't run Shockmaster, but Madraw, Triple Joan, 1900 if this card attacks, it loses 300 attack during the damage step only. When this card is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to add one level 4 or lower warrior type monster from your graveyard to your hand. Um, triple Claim, if you control a light normal monster, you can special summon this card from your hand and face up defense position. Triple Lancelin, I, when I was playing as Noble Knight, I'd only run two of these, but he ran three, and it did good for him, so I gave him props for it, but you can send one face of light normal monster you control to the graveyard, especially in this card, this card, especially in this card from your hand or graveyard. You can tribute one Noble Knight monster, add one Noble Arms card from your deck to your hand. You only use the effect of an audible Knight of Black Lancelin once per turn. You can, you can only control one. Pretty cool that your level 5 goes into your level 5 plays. Triple Mobile Magic Turgeris, this is the light normal, 1800 attack, 1800 defense, and then double Rabbit. Um, it's kind of weird about Rabbit, but I see Rabbit being good because it gives you another chance to get the Rabbit to get the Arcturus out. Because you don't, even though he runs only 3 normals, it doesn't really matter because Madrod can also become a, a normal. So, and then of course the double Rescue Rabbit. For spells, he runs 13, he runs double Noble Arms Galatine, all the Noble Arms have the effect that you only to control one face up of the card, equipped only to a warrior type monster, um, well, you can target one face of warrior type Noble Knight monster, so when the card is destroyed, you can target one face of warrior type Noble Knight monster you control and equip that card to that target, but Galatine gives the monster a thousand attack, and then during each of your standby phases, it loses 200. Um, Caliburn is against 500 attack, and then once per turn you gain 500 life points, he only runs one of those. And then, I think it's called Ephedar, I think it's called. Um, you can target, once per turn, you can target one set card you're calling controls. Controls, the equipped monster permanently loses 500 attack, and if it does, destroy the target. So, it destroys your, your face down, your bones face down. That's it for the Noble Arms, and then runs for like Staples, Monster Born, Tarpole, Double MST. There is no Hecting. Um, triple Forbidden Lance, to start off, not a lot, because it's like, oh, you attack, and then Forbidden Lance, and your monster would just die, and it's just like, oh, GG. Mind Control for gaining control of monster, making his plays even better. Ten Traps, he ran, Solomon, Double Warning. Double breakthrough skill, which was like ridiculously overpowered. 
Double Venus Chain, Starlight Road, and then Double Bombless. For his extra deck, he won. He ran one Arcturus, King of the Noble Knights. Um, and this card is XYZ Summon. You can target up to three Noble Arms, equip spell cards with different names in your graveyard. Equip those targets to this card. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. Destroy any number of spell trap cards in the field up to the number of Noble Arms, equip spell cards you control. One Gendiva. Pretty much one per turn, a little four lower monster stuff summoned by your opponents on your to your opponents of the field. I mean, you can attach an XYZ material to destroy this for summon monster, so it, it stops level four monsters, especially with like you know fire fist and shit like that. Oh, he did run shock master. Yeah, number sixteen shock master. So yeah, he, never mind. He did run it. I just never saw him play the Shockmaster, even though it's very easy to get Shockmaster out with this deck. I just never saw it. Um, Kasanage, once per turn during you play the Terminal Trap cards, activate and detach one XYZ material from this card, negate the activation. If you do destroy it, then this card loses 500 attack. Just a trap negation. Triple Excalibur, which is pretty much for the OTK. You pitch both its overlays, and then it, can, it doubles its attack, come 4000 until the opponent's next end phase. And then for fives, he runs one Adreus, one Tyrus, and then number 12, Prune's Shadow Armor Ninja. But yeah, he went undefeated. And it's just overall, it was a really great deck. Um, I'm gonna plan on actually building the deck. I have mostly everything for it, so I'll probably test it in the next tournament. But this is the winner of the All About Games tournament. Um, hope you guys enjoy it, but I think this is actually a really good Noble Knight build. Um, and I think it's probably one of the best out there, so. Um, you guys have a great day, and other than that, you guys have a great day, and this is Mikey B saying peace out. Um, I'll be putting out my second place deck profile, which is for Alec Beast, so. Wait for that, and hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.